Hey everybody, it's me again. I want to show you real quickly how to utilize stories in your Facebook. And so I really, I love Facebook stories. I love using them to share my content. And what a story is, if you look at that little image in the middle where it says my 76 pounds gone, my uh, profile picture, if you click that, it's going to show the stories. So it's view stories. And then you've seen these, like there's my story here. And there's these viewers. You can see all their info. I love this because I can literally communicate with these folks right from my story, right in Messenger. It's that easy. That's why I love stories is it's easy to communicate. But going back into my story, you see this one, which is my Tasty Tuesday. And then this is one of the videos. And you can click the center of it and view post and view the video. Or do Malachi. I love this one. So you can do all these things. Well, I want to show you a little bit about stories and how I make them as well as what I do with them. So let's go. First off, and I'm going to turn something into a story. I'm going to go down to my timeline down here and choose one of my posts, and I'm going to turn it into a story. So I've already done a lot of these. Let's see. I want to go – I want to share this one right here from one of my friends. He put this post up. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to click share. So I click the share button, share to your story, and that brings this up. So let's turn it in stuff. If you click on the post, it will just do the image like that. And you can, you know, reshape it, resize it just like with two fingers like anything else you do on a device. So I'm going to leave it like this because I want to share it like this. I'm going to turn it. You can swipe to try filters. You can try filters by swiping. You can also do, hold on, effects. So there's effects down here. I'm going to put a background in it. So duo tune. Oh, I like that. I'm going to keep it that color. It's real bright. I'm going to do some fun stuff to it. Click the little post-it tab at the top right there and boom. I can add a GIF. It's Monday, so I'm going to put Monday on it. Look at that, Monday. Boom. I'm going to put that there. See what else I want to do. I'm going to do, I could add music to it, which is fun. I do um, all kinds of stuff like that. There's little things here. You can add a feeling, like happy, and you can do that. It, it m makes motion. If you want to get rid of it, click delete. I can do, um, I can do a rating. Like I can ask for rating. What? Um, Let's see, how do you like this? And then they can put four stars, five stars, or whatever. You can add a rating there. I don't want that because it doesn't make sense for this. Another thing you can do is do a poll. Do you like this? I mean, you can do a poll for anything. Get interaction. Here's the cool thing about doing a poll. If someone says yes or no, it goes to your messenger. Another thing that's fun is asking a question. What do you think? And there's some other questions that... It asks about with movies and stuff like that. You can see to get suggestions on questions. Click done. I can put it down here. You can change the colors on that. When someone answers it, it goes to Messenger with you, and that's an easy conversation to have with folks. So if they answer it, whatever, it makes it real easy. And click, look at this. What are you watching? Highlight of your day. Food. What's your favorite food? Travel. What's your favorite destination? These are all great. You get interaction with this. You can just use these. What are you listening to? What's your favorite activity? All this stuff is good. I'm going to take that off because that doesn't go with this. Let's see. I'm going to add a GIF. This is fun. See, there's all these things you can do here. Scroll down. There's all kinds of little emojis and stuff you can put on. I'm going to add a GIF. I'm going to say all in. Click. And let's do an all in GIF. Look at this. Here's all in. So I'm going to do that one. So let's do it like this. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. I like that. I'm going to move this a little bit down. Look at that. All in. Isn't that cool? And then on this I could have put, is anyone else all in or something like that. I'm going to click next and then share to my story. Boom. I just shared the story. Look at this. I can create something straight up from stories after it shares it. I'll let it share it first. It's still doing the cycling thing. When it's doing the circling thing, it's still making sure to upload it to your stories, which takes a minute because – each one of these GIFs or the music you add or anything else, they are video. So there it is, and there's that. Look, I'm going to show you something else I do. Check this out. So on this, let's view story. When I've done this, I've added something to my story. I go back in and see the little star at the bottom that says highlight. Watch. Highlight. I'm going to add this to Tasty Tuesday. This is how I get those awesome little highlights um, on, at the bottom of my thing. So there's Tasty Tuesdays. So I'm going to add it there. And then watch this. I want to show you where it goes. Those are highlights right here. See story highlights? You can have tons of those. You want to have tons of story highlights. I'm going to go back in there. My Facebook crashed. You want to have tons of story highlights. See those? Look at that. Isn't that great? 
So they go there. It gives you this nice little area here. So fill in those with those highlights. And then let's do a story straight from a story just doing a poll or something. So I'm going to go to View Story. And then I'm going to go in Add at the bottom. <clears throat> let's do Text. What are you up to this week? Anything fun? And so there's that. <clears throat> And I just put a question, and they can I can do it where they answer it, or I can put anything else up there, and that makes it fun. That's a good interaction. Folks will respond to it. I can do it that way. I'm going to discard text. I don't want to do that. You can add a poll, um, you know, like this. Do you get excited for pumpkin spice? And I can put it's fall again. You know, I'm just putting a post up. Yes or no. And then I could put other stuff in there, like something for my camera roll. But I'm just going to do it just like that. Let's add something fun. I'm going to put a GIF that says pumpkin. Pumpkin. See what we're doing? Just having fun here. So let's put a nice cute pumpkin in there. There's a cute pumpkin. And then I can do share the story. And they're going to message me, guys. It's just fun. This is all easy. So you can take any post you have, any picture you have, or anything like that and create something like that. You can take and create one yourself. And then on the bottom, like I showed you, it ends up in your story highlights and it goes to Messenger. And then the last thing is this. When you... You, you see you've got viewers on your story, you can interact with them. When you've got folks that are liking your stuff or they're making comments, go in here, and if they say something about your thing, go in here and say, right here, like, I know him, so thanks for the support, bro. And it's an easy way to have a conversation. This really adds value to everything you do. So that's pretty much it. That's all I want to really show you guys. I'm going to go back into Facebook and close it up. So that's how you do stories. So go out there, make your stories fun, have fun, get people interacting, do Facebook Lives because they automatically go to your story like this if you tell them to, and just...